Hello, YouTube people, everyone, whoever watches me. I don't really have much subscribers, but hey, today I have found out how to do something really cool. It's called mesh swapping. I know you guys are aware with the game Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. Well, for the PS3, I've been making mods for non-playable character select and such and such. And today, I figured out how to kind of mesh swap. But this is a beginner guide, so this is not actual background non-playable character mesh swap. It's like mesh swap for whenever you do x-ray to make your character turn into a skeleton or something. Or turn into meat or something like that. Anyways, I'm just going to kind of jump into it. First thing you're going to want to do is get the proper tools, which will be into the description. And the second thing you'll want to do is um, get, this is from the PS3 file of character scorpion.xxx. Now, normally, second, you would want to decompress this because you can't, you can't do anything with this. So let's go ahead and decompress. We got our little decompressed scorpion going. Let's delete the normal one. Doesn't matter anymore. And now, we're simply the first thing you want to do is open up your command prompt by pushing Windows key R at the same time and typing CMD and pushing OK. That will bring up your command prompt. Then you're going to go to the location of your file wherever your umodel.exe is located. Mine is located in this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and change my location thingy. There we go. Now I have my little location set up on here and everything. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run this simple command that I've saved onto my computer to get something called export this.txt. It is inside of all xxx files. Go ahead and just delete package.xxx and replace it with scorpion chair scorpion.xxx. And then that should render it out right there. And we should get our export list, which we did. Now, open your export list. You're just going to want to scroll down until you see scorpion, skeletal mesh, something, something. It will be really recognizable. Aha, it's right here. It's called skeletal mesh scorpion, which is what we need. Now everything else, you could just go ahead and just delete all this stuff so it doesn't get in the way in the future of what we're going to be doing. And you will also need um, a hex editor for this. It's very recommended you get a hex editor for this type of thingies. Reason for that is just because hex editor is the only hex editor is the only way to actually re do mesh replacement since you have to do this all manual still and there's no other way to replace meshes really now for me thank you computer to find me for me this took a little bit of time to figure out but after Getting through it and just simply reading, you kind of figure out how to do things. It becomes easier for you to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is replace Scorpion with me. So when he loads, he'll load as a big corpse type deal thing. It, he loads whenever you do your x rays. So, go meet, and then we'll go to Scorpion. I'm going to do is going to be really interesting looking once it's done. And I will show you guys after it's done exactly what it looks like. Okay, so you're going to want to grab this top number right here. Just want to copy that. And then you'll simply 
you want to go to your hex editor. Data type, hex values, paste it in there. And then if you go back a little bit, you'll see this code right here. You'll want to copy this. It's a mix within this code right here. So it reads this code first, and then it reads this right after that. So this is going to be the meat data that we're going to use to replace Scorpion. So you want to copy that, paste it right there, and you're going to want to find Scorpion. So let's see. Okay, Scorpion's mesh is right here. I'll copy that. And then hex editor. Thank you. Just going to want to find it, replace it. And this is Scorpion's data. I've been doing this for so long now. I kind of got the gist of it. So now I'm going to teach you if you found the right one. Say 00. zero. That's right. 0E, zero e, which is part of this code. 1B, still part of that code. 21, still part of that code. It'll separate it. 00. zero. B2, right here. 7B right here, 32 right there. What we're going to do is we're going to replace this number with this number right here. So you just want to copy that, go into your hex editor. We're going to simply paste and write that over Scorpion. So now we've just replaced Scorpion's whole entire model, whole entire model with me. Great. Now let's replace the meat. Replacing the meat with Scorpion's last old model. So right here. And then, um, yeah, right here. Go to meat. Highlight the meat code that we just gathered and then we paste and write it like that. There you go, want to save everything, everything like that. Uh, to get this running, it's simple. Very simple for PS3. Now I'm not gonna go into the tutorial on how to create PKG files and blah blah blah. But I'll show you how to rename this with MKKE generic renamer. So after we did that, we have our modified Scorpion file. So when it loads, it will load meat instead of Scorpion. So what we're going to want to do is add him as DLC. Now on our hex editor, we're going to want to add him as DLC, which means we must change his whole insides of the file. PS3 mode, just select these two, generic renamer. And you highlight this for old text string. Is this the old text string? We'll replace that. We're gonna replace this with um, let's see, DL DLC L. That's it. That is undead cage right now. But I'm I'm just using this for example, just to hurry up and get the process done. Blah blah blah. In a new video, I'll teach you how to actually import custom PKGs, blah, blah, blah. But if you have HEN, which you should have HEN, and if you download my mod, you could easily just rename this, share, DLC, L, replace that over undead cage, which is in the same file, and it should load now. And as you can see, we go into hex editor, Everything we just did in generic renamer is all replaced with DLCL, which is great. So now, let's go on to the PS3 and see how the mod looks, shall we? Okay, so now we're on our PS3. As you can see, I have hen with Super Slim, of course. So everyone's kept asking me about hen and everything like that. Is this mod for hen? Blah, blah, blah. I will show you that mods can be for hen. Easily. So I already copied the files and everything. 
to the HDD and everything. So now let's test it. Multi man. Loading, of course. Okay, Mortal Kombat. I simply just downloaded this. Anyone can do it. So if you have a certain version, just download this one. And if you want to change it, simply use PKG Viewer to change the ID and everything. Blah, blah, blah. After you extract it, that is. PKG Viewer is pretty much to extract PKGs. And then you have to use other PKG you have to use other things to modify that, which I'll get into in a different video and everything like that. So, it's on our PS3. We're gonna see how the mod is. Test it out. See what we get. Like I said, I renamed it as DLCL, which means it's going to be over Undead Cage. Yeah, it's going to be over Undead Cage because I replaced that one. Which is fine since I upload the mod, I could just easily get it, everything back that I want. So. For those who still can't mesh swap after this, I'm going to figure out how to do a little bit more into mesh swapping. And then I'll release a bunch of mesh swap things. For everyone to enjoy as you can see it has worked we are now playing as meat meat scorpion instead of the normal one the funny thing about meat scorpion is um if he gets x-rayed on he'll actually show his original skin which i will show right now before this video ends Practice mode. I'm going to select, let's say, ooh, who's fun to do x-rays with. Hmm, I'm going to choose a reptile, I guess. And then we're going to go over here, choose undead cage. Oh boy, come on. all this stupid annoyingness and then here's scorpion here's a reptile let's see what happens when we x-ray kind of glitchy a little bit but still funny this turns into regular scorpion which in my opinion that's freaking amazing I love it so much Now this is glitchy because Scorpion is not meant to be mesh swapped like this and his spear goes everywhere when you use it, blah blah blah, but I'm